Hey, hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsiderTips.com. Just want to bring you a video letting you know that I now have access to Grok AI inside my X Premium Plus account. Now, before diving in, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel at AI Insider Tips, I would truly appreciate that as I spend hours doing research and putting together these videos and tutorials for you guys. So I'd truly appreciate if you guys did that. So diving back in here to Grok. So Grok was first announced on November 4th by Elon and the team at XAI. So we've had to wait a little over a month now to finally get access, or at least I have access. I don't think everyone else has access. I've asked people that I know in my network who have X Premium Plus. Um, and so on that topic, what some people are wondering is, if you have X Premium, you do not get access to Grok AI. You must be a member of X Premium Plus for it starts at $16 a month or $168 a year in order to access Grok AI. It will not work on these other tiers. So once you pay for X Premium Plus, that also does not guarantee access. I was on a waiting list for about a month and I finally have Grok in my main menu here on the left-hand side. So if I click Grok, this is what it looks like. You'll see up top here, the first thing I notice is there's two modes. There's a fun mode and there's a regular mode. And to clear chats, that's what this button is here. This helps clear the chat. So one thing I don't like right away is that you cannot save chats inside Grok like you can in ChatGBT or even Google Bard. You can save chat. Same with Claude. You can save chats in Claude as well. So in this video, guys, I'm just going to run a, a, some prompts and then test it with Google Gemini, test it against ChatGBT, just to see what we're working with in the early stages of Grok AI. So the first prompt that I'm going to give Grok is I'm going to say, tell me about recent news and advancements in AI. And guys, where Grok is supposed to have the competitive advantage, at least according to Elon, is it scrapes real-time data off of X's feed. So a lot of data that's picked up by news sources and even Google often comes from social media first, Grok being a big player in recency and you know news around the world. Um, so when I asked Grok about, tell me some recent news and advancements about AI, it says, in the past few months, the world of AI sees some incredible developments. And it talks about OpenAI's GBT4 Turbo, Google's investment in Claude, Apple Chip, XAI's Grok. Um, you know, not great. And it's even providing some tweets here. This is from November 8th, so about a month ago. Uh, maybe I just need to be more specific here. And I'll say, uh, let's actually, let's clear the chat. So now I'm going to throw in the word today and I'm going to prompt Grok with something like this. What are the top news stories today about AI? And while it's processing that, I'm going to come over to Google Bard, which is now running the Gemini language model. So Google Bard historically has been great with these types of recency prompts as it's pulling straight from Google. So right here, top news stories today, December 8th, 2023. Google unveils Gemini. Yes, that's very recent. OpenAI deploys web crawler for next gen GBT model. I believe that's relevant. Relevant. International AI Safety Summit, yes. AI Chip Breakthrough, yes. Uh, Chat GBT beaten by computer. And then there's all these other stories. This appears to be extremely relevant. And it even, even offers news links right here if I want to click those sources. So as I come back to Grok, it says... It seems like the world is buzzing with excitement over AI, and I'm just not my own humble existence. Here's some top AI news stories for today. Google's new AI model, Gemini. Stability dropped its latest model. VR avatars. X rolling out Grok to Premium Plus users. That's the purpose of this video. And AI Edge is keeping off our seats with the latest AI news. And then what I like about Grok actually down here is it has real-time uh, tweets here. So 13 hours ago, five hours ago, there was an important update about McDonald's now using generative AI, which I talked about in a recent video. Eight hours ago, eight hours ago, three hours ago, um, so Grok is a, appearing to be doing pretty good with recency as that always should be its competitive advantage since it has all this real-time data inside the X platform that other sources do not have access to. So that's a good one right there. So I'm going to come up here and click clear conversation. And now what I'm going to do is make sure that I am in regular mode. So I'm just going to test image generation. I don't think Grok has AI image generation capabilities, but I'm just going to do something simple just to see. I'm going to say, create me an image of a dog. It's just something extremely simple here. And it says, I currently do not have vision capabilities, but I can offer you a textual description. So it cannot create images. Google Gemini can also not create images as well as of this video recording. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask it a little more sophisticated prompt. I'm gonna click the clear conversation up here. And I'm going to say, describe how SEO works in simple terms. 
So it says searching for SEO in simple terms. While it's doing that, I'm gonna clear this chat on Google Bard while it uses Google Gemini. And I'm gonna ask Google Gemini the exact same thing. Describe how SEO works in simple terms. So then it gives me this breakdown here of crawling and indexing, ranking the search engine results page or a SERP, uh, some key things to remember about SEO. I like this response right here, just quickly glancing over it. If I come back to Grok, it says in simple terms, SEO is like a matchmaking game between your website and search engines like Google. Do this, you mean, that is very simple. I do like this response as well. By doing these things, you have a chances of being found on Google, searching for information or services, and then it kind of highlights some tweets here on the bottom. So it looks like it's scraping Grok for tweets related to SEO, which is kind of cool. And that's the difference maker of Grok versus an LLM like ChatGBT or Google Bard is that Grok can scrape its own database of tweets for whatever you're asking and whatever is relevant. So that's kind of cool as well. I would give the nod in this case to Google Gemini here. I do like this uh, response a lot better for that prompt, um, but not gonna complain with what I have so far with Grok. So now I'm gonna do a creativity test and I'm gonna come back here, click regular mode, and then I'm gonna re-clear the conversation. And then I'm going to come in here and say, write a compelling title for a YouTube video about the best AI tools in 2023. While it's doing that, I'm going to come back to Google Gemini, clear the chat, ask it the exact same prompt, write a compelling title for a YouTube video about the best AI tools in 2023. Let's see what it comes up with here. So Grok says, top AI tools in 2023, unleash the future today. Cool, can you come up with five more? And I'm gonna ask it for more ideas here just to see what Grok comes up with. All right, so you'll see the five responses that Grok came up with here. So it says, revolutionize your life with these 10 cutting edge AI tools in 2023, top 15 AI tools for productivity and more, ultimate AI toolbox, seven must have tools, 10 AI tools you need to try, AI unleash, the future is now. These titles are catchy, informative and SEO friendly, making them perfect for a YouTube video about the best AI tools. So not bad. Some of these I could definitely use for a YouTube title. And I like this snippet at the end here where it talks about how it came up with these titles are catchy, informative and SEO friendly. And then again, it you know quotes some uh, tweets down here related to whatever my prompt was. So here's some discover the best AI websites and tools. Um, so it's just scraping its database of tweets based on whatever the prompt is that I'm asking. I'm not sure how relevant this is. So here's actually a cool idea right here. Top 15 AI tools you won't believe exist with an emoji. Um, so it's pulling in some top tweets with catchy titles related to free AI tools. So you'll see threads like this all the time on Twitter. So I do appreciate that. And I think that's definitely very valuable. Now quickly looking at Bard here, what I really like about Bard is how it breaks it out with Gemini language model and how it breaks it out into these different categories. So it says intriguing and clickable, specific and informative, action oriented, bonus and tips. So the top 10 AI tools you need. So these are some clickbait titles, um, some informative, some action oriented. Um, so Google Gemini did provide me with better and more options for this specific prompt. Um, but again, I can't really complain about Grok. Now, the big caveat here as I conclude in this video is that this does cost $16 a month to use this large language model. So it's not there yet. And I think for free, just going to Google Bard and using Gemini or even GPT-4 on Bing Chat, um, you can get access to this for free on Bing Chat without ChatGPT+. Um, so I think to conclude, guys, is that Google Gemini for free, all you need is a Google account, is a more sophisticated large language model as of this video recording than Grok AI, especially for that $16 a month price point. Now, I do hope to see this improve, especially over time. I would like to see some AI image generation efforts. I would like to see some vision efforts where I can upload images of my website or upload videos or you know whatever, where I can analyze images and then give me some feedback based on that analysis. So I would like to see more on that. I was a little disappointed about the news and the recency with Grok AI, to be honest with you. Um, I figured that would be its best uh, trait compared to a Google Gemini. Um, and it's not bad, but it still has a lot of work to go. And in, in my opinion, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But right now, Google Gemini, I'm giving the nod to over Grok AI. Um, but that's it, guys. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Appreciate you all watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have access to Grok AI. If you don't, 
If you do have access, let me know what you think about Grok AI and how it compares to Gemini, ChatGBT, or any other AI tools that you are using. Be sure to subscribe again if you haven't already. Like this video. Guys, I appreciate you all, and I hope you all have a great day.